Hello boys and girls, my name is Otisti and welcome back to another day in Minecraft and today we are tackling our second village ship and to start off I thought I take a look at the uh, setup we have over here to figure out how we can improve this. So with the uh, performance of the villages I'm quite happy. They are exactly doing what they should do. Uh, what could be improved is we only have a villager every uh, second space, so the, the one here in the middle. Uh, we could double up on the uh, villages if uh, this space could also be used. And usually it's it was a problem with uh, with the uh, pathfinding of the uh, villages to their uh, stations uh, but there are ways around and the second issue that i figured is the labeling of the uh, villages which is done with these uh, signs but if i put one sign on this side i cannot place it on the same height on the other side so it's down here so maybe also have a bit of a wider gap so seeing this there are different uh, approaches so uh, uh, one approach would be uh, the uh, double layer carpet trick uh, to prevent uh, the villages from pathfinding and thereby from moving around um, which is no longer possible in 1.16.2 uh, this was fixed and the other trick I saw was uh, basically uh, separate the uh, villages uh, with a trapdoor so that they uh, cannot move out of uh, their cell uh, and overall if you have a look at the uh, uh, different uh, villages uh, or villager uh, setups uh, basically the holding cell for the villager is pretty simple the complicated part is the getting the villager in there which involves redstone rails etc but thinking that i only need to get the villager in once and then i will trade with him for eternity I don't think I should spend uh, an inordinate amount on how to get the villages in so I will probably stick to the the same approach I did over there by just using uh, minecarts and then leave them in the minecarts so I can place minecart uh, by side of the next minecart with the station in front of them. So then let's get building. I have prepared some materials here, uh, some woods, a bit of uh, lighting so uh, it's not all dark, a lot of glass, uh, more woods and rails and that should be everything we need so let me build up the first module and then we will have a look at it it's a nice and easy setup 10 slots for villagers and then i can uh, add the signs on top here on the glass and due to the uh, trap door in front here they cannot get out even if no workstation is in front here 
So the way this will work is that basically I will fill up the uh, slots from here and the weird thing is that um, if I have a mine villager in a minecart here and then break the minecart the villager will end up in uh, this cell. So maybe I can demonstrate that uh, at the uh, end but Basically, it means the first villager is carted in here and then will end up here. And the last villager, we will have to cart it in here, but we cannot break the minecart because otherwise he would join the villager that's already there. So, here on the back, then I can uh, basically uh, uh, continue um with having a second row of um of cells here but uh, maybe in the right orientation because that's clearly the wrong one but you can see how this uh, this setup is uh, nice and uh, compact and then I can leave um, a two or three gap uh, between these uh, these double rows and uh, that should give us plenty of uh, of space and uh, a possibility to store loads of villages and with this compact setup we could even have another layer on top of here but that would mean that uh, we do not have this this top layer here so um, I would need to come up with another way to uh, at the science but uh, for now I think uh, with uh, all these uh, village cells set up here on the ground level uh, that will be uh, plenty for now so I will complete uh, all the cells and then we can see about getting an actual village in here I finished all the cells. In total, it's uh, each row has ten, and in total, I have uh, places for 160. Uh, also, um, the last one is a bit uh, uh, crammed there against the uh, front of the ship, and for demonstration purposes. I have myself a villager here, so uh, he will go into this slot and when I break the minecart he will pop over where he needs to go. So let's see how this goes. Then let's break this and you saw it. Nice and easy. So. That means the next one will go here and I can also repair this piece so everything happens automatically. So and with that I think uh, we are done here. Let's clean up after ourselves and uh, then I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you a pleasant day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!